welcome to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. In today's video, I'm coming at you all with a Tory Chew haul by popular demand. Y'all showed me so much love on that last video. So I said, I'm gonna have to bring this back. I'm gonna have to run it back seasonally because Tory is expensive. Like, I was really happy with the last haul. I've been wearing those shoes all summer long and now it's time to transition from summer to fall. So I needed some more shoes. This haul is gonna have some shoes that you can wear for the rest of summer, into the fall months, and even into the winter because I picked up some boots. Everything in this video is paid for by me. This is not a sponsorship. So anything that doesn't work out, I will be returning back to tour it later tonight. I wanted to make sure to film this video first so that if you have wide feet like I do and you're looking for some shoes that are gonna fit your feet, you can see if these will work out for you if we have a similar foot. If, without further ado, I would go ahead and get right into the try-on. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe. Your girl is on the road to 10K and I want you to be my YouTube friend, okay? <laughs> So the first pair that I'm showing you all is a pair of Camo Rush sneakers in a size 10. This is how they came packaged. And that's what they look like. I thought that these would be really good to wear in the fall months or just casually when running errands. I could literally wear it with something like this or, you know, green top. I thought they were really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and try them on. Gonna get up close and just show you what they look like. It kinda has like that. Old t-shirt, old denim type feel to it. Got a stretch, which I've never seen this sort of stretch on a sneaker before. And the back of it, I would say like, it's not flimsy like a Walmart shoe, but it's not sturdy like a Nike shoe either. It's somewhere in between. I'm not in love with these. I feel like if I got caught in the rain with these shoes, it would be over for them. So that was the first pair. Let me know what y'all think. I think that they would be cool for casual wear. But as far as longevity, I'm not confident about how long these would last because of the way that they're made. So this is, oh wait, y'all y'all got my head, my head cut off. So this is the next pair. Let's get into this detail. It has a little chunky heel. Colors are definitely cream, black, and gray. This is in a size 10. Has a zipper. I am concerned about my foot getting in here because my feet don't always want to go. But I'm going to go ahead and try these on. I cannot get these zipped. So these are going to definitely be going back. I don't feel like they're true to width. They're supposed to be 10 wide width, but they're not wide enough. It can't zip up on me. It's a disappointment too, because they're really bad. Like they used to be so cute with the right outfit. I felt like these little wedges were so cute and would be such a great transition from summer to fall because of the color scheme. So it does have a little razzle dazzle. But I do want to point out that the tissue paper that they put on this made some of my sequins come off already so i'm already kind of like okay this stuff comes off easily the other thing is just like the heel size but these are in a size 10 it's supposed to be a wide width wedge so i am going to try it it looks like it has like a little slant which is usually a good sign but i'm gonna go ahead and try these on torrid understood the assignment with this pair this pair is so me so far, the only pair so far that I really, I'm saying so far too much. <laughs> the pair that I'm about to show you all is the only pair that I feel like really fits my personality, my style when I'm going out and about and things. So this is definitely a keeper. If you have a wide foot like me, I think you'll like these. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down so y'all can see these wedges. 
I think they are so cute. And you know, don't mind my ashy ankle. We, we're gonna act like it's not ashy. They're cute. These are cute. True to wide width. And I like them. Definitely happy about these. I just have to practice my walk because y'all. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. <laughs> but they cute. Okay. These are the next pair that I'm going to be trying on. And I really love this color for fall and even winter. I just feel like this gray is going to go with so many different things. And I'm really hoping that it fits. It does have like this wool ash sweater material at the top. Some little buckle detailing. It has a chunky and it's pretty sturdy. Um, I won't call this a heel, but I guess you could say you have somewhat of a heel, but it's not really a heel, y'all. Like it's like half an inch. And then the material on the bottom, it's pretty sturdy. It's not like a Timberland, but it doesn't feel thin. So it doesn't feel like if you're walking around in like icy weather, and I'm saying icy because I'm in Atlanta. We don't really get real snow out here. That it's going to stop through to your boot. So that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and try them on. And I'm show you what they look like. So not only do they fit. But they actually came right up. And they fit over my jeans y'all. Which is a big plus. For plus size women with wide calves. Wide feet. Big legs. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys right now what they look like. Let me back up a little bit. Ah! So, as you can see, they are fitting and they fit how they're supposed to fit when you're wearing jeans in the fall and the winter time. You wanna be able to put jeans in your boots. A lot of times I do wear like those wool leggings as well. So of course those will work, but knowing that they actually fit with a pair of denim is wonderful because everybody knows when it's cold, you wear jeans. Now there is a stretchy part of this shoe right in here. And I just want to salute Torrid for having that because I feel like that is what makes it work out for my feet and my legs. So definitely will be keeping these. Can't wait to wear them this fall and winter. It's got a really like platform style to it. Got that stretch built in and then it zips. Now, this boot is kind of hard in comparison to the other one. I feel like this boot could handle some rain, which is really good because, you know, in the fall months, sometimes it rains um, and you don't want your shoes getting all, you know, how cloth based boots, if it rains, they start to kind of get a mildew like smell or they just get soggy and your socks get wet. I feel like this material is gonna protect you from wet weather, ice, rain, whatever. And like I was mentioning before, the bottom of the heel is really, really like sturdy. And so the ice and the water won't be getting through to your feet. This shoe actually has more protection than the last pair. I think that this is more of a platform and then it has another layer right here. I am concerned about stretch and being able to glide my foot down into it, but I do feel a little better about it because it has this little stretchy area right here. So I'm going to take all the paper and stuff out and try it. to come back with my final thoughts about the shoes as y'all can see some were a hit some were a miss 
I am going to be keeping three out of five pairs. The camo shoes were a little too flimsy, not wide enough, and I honestly didn't feel like they were very comfortable. I'm concerned that if I'm wearing those out and it rains, the shoes are gonna be ruined. So for those reasons, I will be returning them. The snakeskin boots were super cute, but they were very stiff and very much like a traditional medium with shoe. They had no sort of stretch capabilities built in, and I could not get them zipped up. So I don't play those kind of games as it pertains to shoes. I'm not gonna be going out and I'm uncomfortable and I can't zip up my shoes. It's a no for me, dog. My middle of the road shoe this time around would definitely be the leopard pair. They are super cute and I am gonna keep them, but I guess what I didn't like is just kind of like the stiffness of the top of the shoe. So I'm just hoping that it will be comfortable when I wear them. But let's be real. I'm actually getting to have a boot that is leopard print. I have so much that I can do with that and I just can't pass up on that opportunity. So I think that those are going to be really cute to wear this fall and I can't wait to find some pieces and wear some pieces that I already have with those shoes. The wedges were super cute. Those were my favorite, hands down, best pair of shoes from the haul in my opinion. I feel like the wedges really complimented my wide feet without let, making them look fat and like it's leaning and crazy. Y'all with, you know, flat wide feet, y'all know what I'm talking about. I felt like they were comfortable, although I gotta learn how to kind of walk in wedges because I haven't really had a lot of experience with doing it in a shoe that's meant for my wide foot. I think that they were really comfortable. The outfit ideas are endless with those shoes. Like I really feel like it can work in most of the seasons because it's like a nude color and nude is really good for fall but it's also good for spring and summer and then it has that glitter on there which will make it match with silver stuff too a lot of times you either get a shoe that's gonna go with gold accessories or silver accessories and not both and then that gray boot come on y'all everybody needs a fall boot staple a basic and that's exactly what that is gray is kind of like black it goes with almost everything so i think that that shoe was the most comfortable as far as boots that I tried. The snake skin one was tight, sliding my foot the in. The leopard one actually slid in, but it just felt stiff because the material is harder than the gray boot. So top two, definitely the gray boot and the glittery shoe wedge style. I wanna know what your favorite from this haul is. If you're wanting me to do more plus size, shoe try-ons let me know especially if you have wide feet like me y'all i have wide feet no arch flat feet short toes it is so hard to find cute shoes so although everything didn't work out i'm so happy that i was able to find these with torrid be sure to drop some suggestions down below subscribe if you haven't i'm on the road to 10k i'll see you guys in my next video bye